Hey, I'm Wes. Let's talk about replacing the motors on your Codrum EDU. Replacing a motor can be a bit tricky, but with a little bit of preparation and practice, you should be able to do it. Replacing motors does take a bit of time and patience, so before you decide to replace the motors, you may want to check a few things to see if the issue can be resolved without replacing the motors. Usually, the drone will drift towards the direction of the motor that's spinning more slowly. For example, if the drone keeps drifting diagonally towards the front left, most likely the front left motor or propeller is the issue. If that propeller seems to be spinning more slowly than others, you may want to check that there isn't any debris caught in the shaft of the motor underneath the propeller. The most common thing to get caught under the propeller are threads from clothing and hair. Clear the propeller of any debris and try flying again. Also, if the propellers have been replaced before, check that the propellers are in the correct position. Check out our video on replacing propellers where we break down the differences between clockwise and counterclockwise propellers. You can also try trimming the drone to see if it fixes any drift that may be occurring with your drone, which is also covered in more detail in another video. If even after trying these things you're noticing that the motor isn't spinning or it's spinning much slower than the other motors, it might be time to replace the motor. Before you get started, make sure you have the correct replacement motor. Like the propellers, the motors are also directional. You can tell which direction the motor rotates by the color of the wires. Black and white wires are counterclockwise motors, and red and blue wires are for clockwise motors. So make sure to match the wire colors of the motor you're replacing. You'll want to start by removing the six bolts on the bottom of the chassis, using the screwdriver included in your kit. Make sure to have somewhere safe to place these bolts since they're very small and easy to misplace. A tiny dish or a bottle cap will work great. Next, you'll want to remove the propeller, then push the motor out of the housing. You can use a two-thumb method by holding the arms of the motor housing with your fingers, then pushing upward with both thumbs on the bottom of the motor like this. You can leave the motor just partially pushed out for now. Make sure that if these rubber bumpers come loose from under the motor, to also put them into a safe spot with the small bolts, since they are also easy to misplace. Before pushing the motor all the way out of the housing, you'll want to unplug the wire from the drone's main board. This part can be tricky since the connector is small. We recommend using a tweezer if you have one. If you don't, grab the white connector with your nails and gently pull outward. You may need to wiggle back and forth a little bit until it detaches. Make sure not to pull by the wire since the connection between the connector and the wire is fragile. Then you'll want to pull out the wire from the arms of the drone. There are a few lips in the arms holding the wire in place, so just pull the wire out from under them gently. Lastly, you can pull the motor out from the motor housing entirely and thread the wire out. For the replacement motor, you're basically going to be doing the reverse of what you just did. First, check that the wire colors are matching between the motor you just removed and the replacement motor. Start by threading the connector of the motor through the housing. Next, you'll want to insert the connector into the connector socket on the drone's main board. Make sure that it's facing the correct way. You'll want the side with two tabs and some exposed metal to be facing upward, not the side that's flat. You should be able to feel it slide into place once you've inserted the connector fully. Push the motor into the housing so that it stays in place. Just make sure that the wire is also not caught along the sides of the housing. If the rubber bumper under the motor did come out, make sure to place it back before pushing the motor into place. Along the arm of the drone, you can push the wiring into the lip of the arm by just pushing it in with something thin with a point, like the tip of a pen or tweezers if you have them. Next, you'll want to thread the wire around where this bolt is on the main board for the front motors, or through this groove if you're replacing a back motor. This is just to keep the wire placement clean. Just copy where the wires of another motor is placed if you want a point of reference. Put your propeller back and do one more check to make sure it's the correct propeller. Tuck the antenna in if it managed to come out, which is this white wire right here. Now reattach the bottom chassis and you're done! Make sure to do a test flight of your drone afterwards to make sure the motor is working as expected. Like with the propellers, you may need to do a little readjusting and trim your drone a bit to make sure its flight is stable again. With a fresh motor in place, hopefully you're seeing an improvement in the flight now. Replacing motors can take some time and practice to get right, 
so take your time. If you've got any questions, feel free to reach out to us at help.roblink.com. Happy flying out there.